Next question is from Music Guy. He's asking Armin, I feel snubbed. No, I'm kidding. Armin, can you please explain what is going on in Lebanon with Hezbollah protesting in a Christian area regarding the investigation of the Beirut blast and gunfire breaking out and Hezbollah seen firing back with Kalashnikovs? So, yeah, if you guys aren't aware, at least six people have been killed and thir at least 30 have been injured in um, some street protests that arose surrounding the investigation and prosecution of the Beirut blast, which I learned today, the Beirut blast was the third largest non-nuclear explosion in human history. Wait, say that again, third the, largest? The third largest non-nuclear blast Whoa. or explosion in human history. Hmm. That blew my really? mind. Um, yeah, it, it, it was actually looked like a mushroom cloud, didn't mm -hmm. it? Like, yeah. Guys, like everybody I hope knows about this. This was like exactly one year ago. No, more than a year ago, right? Yeah, almost, within the almost, past yeah. two years. Yeah. And there was a lot of conspiracies that came around that, like, and all of them were untrue. It was just negligence, right? So, and one year on, people are, in, like, it was a devastating blast. Like, the effects of it to Beirut is still being felt today. Like, the, Beirut has still not economically, financially, emotionally, is way, hasn't even be started to recover from that, right? Um, and people want justice. People want to the people who are accountable for that explosion to be to pay the price, right? The problem with Lebanon is that everybody that is in charge of everything is protected. Like when talk when you talk about the powerful being protected, Lebanon is one of the worst countries. Like there's zero accountability. Everybody is in charge because of their connections and their family and their you know whatever um and it doesn't matter what they do there's just they're untouchable they're untouchable right and what's happening right now for the first time in well not for it is a very rare case of some a judge deciding like you know what i'm gonna go after the people responsible right people are like and people are shocked like this is actually a judge is actually doing what he's supposed to do um and this judge is like want to hold the people who were responsible for the explosion you know criminal negligence right responsible and he's going through the questioning phase like they're not they haven't even accused anybody they're like come here for questioning and hezbollah was hezbollah and this other shia group in lebanon which is um i think amal amal the group called amal um this judge is like come for questioning and they're like how dare you how they come questioning like are you accusing us and they're like they're so unused they're so like not used to this being responsible for the things they do that they're like this judge needs to step down like hezbollah and this other shia group they're like demanding that this job uh, judge steps down and the, all the family of the victims of that explosion, they're like they're supporting this judge. They're like, oh my god, a real goddamn judge. So and Hezbollah and this other Shia group, Amal, they're like, you don't get to do that here. This is Lebanon. This is not like a real country. This is not like a. <laughs> this is not. We don't. So Hezbollah wants to make it clear that the choice that you have, Lebanese people, is justice or safety. And stability because if you want justice we will make sure that we'll bring back the civil war right like guys this what what's looking right now in lebanon is a lot of people are thinking like is this going to be the beginning of a civil war so hezbollah and amal they told their shias to go into the street and protest against this judge and demand that this judge steps down because this judge is actually asking for real justice right um and what happened is that when they were doing the peace people were doing the po protest somebody some group of people started shooting at them okay and as much as we hate hezbollah and Amal, i don't think like that was like we, we can't endorse this reaction didn't right? it like, start were... with snipers yeah snipers 
snipers were shooting at the protesters, not at like militia, not like Hezbollah militia, at protesters. And okay, so right now, again, this video might come out later. Right now, there's a diff people are saying it was Christian militia, shoot, Christian snipers shooting at protesters. And some, pe some people are saying it was the Lebanese forces uh, shooting at protesters. We still don't know. Like Hezbollah was saying it was the Christian snipers, I think because they were in a Christian area. Mm -hmm. And some people are saying, like, no, it wasn't. It was the Lebanese forces, which actually makes it, I don't know, more problematic. I, I, you know, I mean, Lebanon forces going against Hezbollah, that is like recipe for civil war right there. So again, by the time this video comes out, it gets clipped and edited, you might know more about this than I, we do right now. Um, so yeah, but this is really dangerous right now because Lebanon has a history of civil wars. So this tribal tensions, if it gets, keeps escalating, it could, it could bring it could things could get really really chaotic um lebanon as a whole is in such a mess like we have power outages um inflation in, in high inflation like the, the value of the their currency has dropped like most of its value it's 90 percent in the past two years yeah yeah wow yeah so yeah they can, it's 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 i don't know it, it's going to break it like it's going to become it's going to fall apart like Lebanon. I don't see how it could save Lebanon right now. I hope there's a solution to all of this, but things are getting worse, not better. But yeah. Well, I was watching a lot of analysts who are saying that the situation has made it clear more than ever how much Hezbollah is holding the entire country hostage because like Lebanon just formed a government like what last month fine so like around last month like after 13 months without a government but then because of this judge who has was well like demanding that the executive branch comes in and actually revokes someone from the judiciary branch they already pulled the first judge well i don't know who they was but the first judge on this case was already pulled off and then they were saying if you go forward with this then we will like break out of the government that was just formed yes and that's uh, and people do do not celebrate that because people are like oh hezbollah breaking out of the government that's great no that is not great because constitutionally you cannot have a government unless based on the way that the constitution is written all of these different groups have to be involved for the government to actually be a government so the government will basically fall like not you would not if Hezbollah pulls out, there would be no government, um, and that's a real threat. So, and nothing will function like not, nothing. I mean, it's already like that, so I don't know, but but it would be even worse. Like, they could actually literally tell the whole Lebanese people that we will put your lives or take your lives hostage if you hold us accountable for anything we do. That's what they're doing, it's amazing. By yeah, the way, militia guys, group with its own foreign policy agenda. Yeah, militia group by Iran. Like Lebanon has been taken hostage by the Islamic Republic of Iran. Like this is like a foreign force that is the most political and military force in another country. Like nothing else compares to Hezbollah. Like save Lebanon from the Islamic Republic of Iran. I mean, you can. Here's another thing. People think like, okay, well, everything is going to break apart and hezbollah will lose no hezbollah will win because if everything else breaks apart they're getting their funding from iran so they will even if they suffer they're suffering less relative to every other institution so their relative power compared to everybody else will increase and they will have a bigger grip on the whole country so it's is yeah even as bad as things are for hezbollah this whole chaos it might actually make them because it's relatively less bad they might actually increase their power rather than, and as they increase their power because of the sanctions that exist on I I Iran and Hezbollah as a terrorist group, it's going to be harder for the international community to save Lebanon because they're dealing with a terrorist group, and you shouldn't be you shouldn't be trading with them anyway. So yeah, horrible situation. Atheist Republic needs your help.
We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.